Hi YouTube, Ray Marco with Marco Custom Build Models coming to you today with the GMC Astro 95 tractor truck unit unboxing with the Miller brand licensing. Uh, here's the box. Talks about the detailed uh, Detroit 8, 871V uh, engine there, or 8V71. This is the decal sheet and stuff like that, but we'll get right into that parts. So let's cut this open and see what we got inside. This uh, kit has been released a few times before with different box art. Uh, this is the latest version of it. Let's see what we got here. So it's inside the box. Let's go through all these parts. Okay, so first up we have the cab here. All right, it comes packaged with the uh, interior sort of set in there, interior tub. And what's nice about this cab is it's all one piece and you have nice detail here for the uh, for the door panel here you can see it there um, you got the hole here for the shifter a little bit of detail other than that it's uh, pretty straightforward and then the cab is nice it's got good crisp lines rivets it's got the place to put the emblem and the grill and all that kind of stuff, your headlight buckets. And this one seems to be nice and straight, everything's good. So there's the, uh, there's the cab. Next up we have one of the parts bags here. Alright, so in this one we have sort of a roof air dam here. Uh, some fuel tanks. This is, I think, this comes with a couple versions of some chrome ones as well. And these are the caps of fuel tanks and fuel tank hangers. These are some steps that uh, come down so you can get in the truck there. And some air tanks and maybe uh, I think that's an air cleaner assembly. Okay, that's the other side of it. On the other tree in the bag, we got the uh, seats here, the backs, the seat tops there. We have some uh, tubing for the air cleaners. There's a couple of versions here uh, and some more uh, sort of railing that goes on the side of the truck up here. Another cap for the fuel tank. This is a visor. Some battery detail, battery box for the truck. I'll show you the back side. Another parts bag here. So here we have some more tubing and stuff for air intakes and exhaust. Alright. Then we have the 8V71 engine block halves. We have an oil pan, belt assemblies, the cylinder heads. Uh, we have our radiator here and fan shroud, our fifth wheel trailer hitch. This is an exhaust mount here. So there's the back side of that. We got another parts bag here. Okay, so on this tree here we have the uh, dashboard here on these GMC, oh, sorry, dashboard here on these uh, GMC Astros. They have the wraparound dash with all the gauges. What's in front of you here? Here's a steering column piece there, CB radio, uh, another seat here, driver's side looks like. Oh, my steering wheel came all broken and squished. Uh, here's a uh, sort of for the sleeper, there's a couple panel walls and, and a bed. Okay, here's the back side. Too bad about the steering wheel there. Uh, the, for the, uh, you got the uh, Dayton wheels here. These are the rear hubs and the uh, assemblies for the tires. You got the backing plates for the rear brakes. These are the front wheels if you want to run the Daytons. And then some more interior detail here. Okay, and there's the back side of that. I love the way these wheels go together. They're very uh, realistic. You can paint them up nice too if you want. Different colors. This is an exhaust stack here. That's it, just kind of separate there. Uh, 
All right, so here we have on this tree our front axle, uh, some shock absorbers, some suspension pieces here, steering link, mud flaps, uh, sort of a side step here, differentials. This is on the back side. If we flip it over, we'll get a little more detail here. So there's the uh, two differentials. It's a dual drive. You got the drive shafts down here. Our fifth wheel plate mount and fifth wheel mount. Also, this is uh, I think that's for underneath goes underneath the floor here as an air intake vent, if I remember correctly. Uh, steering box. Anyway, it's all that stuff on that tree there. Of course, you've seen the back side already there. Then we have our rear suspension, which is uh, sort of a walking beam suspension with uh, leaf springs. The front uh, leaf springs are here. Some center caps for the uh, hubs. These are some cross members for the chassis and uh, engine mount, things like that. Okay. And also, you get the two uh, chassis frame rails on one tree. Being a uh, stub nose truck, they're not very long. Here we have our glass, which I'm not going to open because I don't want to scratch it up. It's pretty straightforward. You have your windshield here. You got some side glass, and some headlights, and a side window, and then of course your basic uh, tree that has the tail lights and things like that on it. There. There you go. Okay. Now we have the chrome. Open that up. All the chrome is in one bag on this one. Okay, so on this tree here we have the uh, rings for the wheels here. Actually, this is on the back side. If I flip it over, it gets some better detail. Well, the one thing you do see here is the grill detail. And then uh, we have our air cleaner here. Some pieces uh, for a stack or air, air box could possibly be. Um, some tanks, some more tubing. We have the valve covers for that 871 Detroit diesel. We got a supercharger that goes on the top here. We got an oil cooler and all that here. Some exhaust manifolds, water pump, fan, all that detail there. There we go, back side. All right. Then it gives you a option for square fuel tanks here with the step in them. We have some more rings for the wheels. These are the headlight buckets here. Some uh, lower bumper piece. Here's the bumper for the front here as well. Wipers, horns. We got some uh, air dryers. We got our cab lights here. Uh, some looks like possible pivot points or bracketing. Uh, we have some side steps up here and some mirrors and some uh, turn signals, we got the old style turn signals here and then some more modern square ones. So that's that tree there some, and also some grab handles. Okay, tires, they're hollow vinyl tires. We also have some steel axles here in a bag, I'll just keep those there. Should have 10 tires and these ones are uh, pad printed with the Firestone written right on the side here and then some also some other detail on the tire which makes it nice to use and they're also uh, pretty soft tires so you can assemble the wheels and then slide them on after which is nice there's your 10 tires there the instruction sheet here pretty straightforward I mean it's a uh, a lot of stuff to follow with these trucks. There's also some options. Uh, you can use the square tanks, the round tanks. So that's the basic sheet there. And then we'll open up the uh, decals or decals. These are those Miller branded decal sheets here. They give you some big ones if you wanted to do a, a matching trailer maybe. You could put them on something like that and some big lettering for that and then as well as some uh, detail comes with some nice uh, 
stickers for different states and caution wide turn sticker which is kind of neat got uh, the AMT decals as well some numbering lettering whatever you want to do on there so that's a pretty nice decal sheet there so we're just going to put that back here what I was going to show you is a truck that I sort of started on a while ago here one of the things I want to show you I actually have a GMC Astro 95 service manual now this is a supplement manual it's not the full service manual but it has a lot of interesting uh, information on these trucks so I can use it for reference and detail uh, one of the things I wanted to reference was to build a just a single day cab let me uh, find that page here so these are the different cab configurations so the way the model kit comes it's a 86 inch cab and what I want to build was the 54 inch cab so let me uh, show you what I've done here so here is the GMC Astro cab that I have shortened so I'd cut the, cut the uh, cab down and then brought the back wall closer there this is all basically ready for paint it does still come apart to be painted uh, the cab I will spray and then pick off uh, the, the light detail that the grill still comes out so I can paint that I just wanted to uh, not have all this stuff fall off when, the, when it's all painted I added the steps here the interior you can still pop out the dashboard and take off the steering wheel like that I put in a, a brass tube here to hold the steering wheel shifter so basically that just goes on like that Okay, and then the dash can be painted, detailed, and then installed. I did add the little CB radio here on there. It can be painted, picked off. Okay, so here's the uh, the chassis I shortened up, and I had taken the fuel tanks and, and cut them down that much off of that fuel tank, and then put the ends on it, and then also. Uh, glued some strapping on here so when that gets painted it will all look pretty good the wheels can still come apart so I can paint everything take the tires off the back has a steel axle I also drilled the front to have a steel axle so that the wheels don't uh, fall off when it's on the shelf uh, you may not want to see that that metal pin there but for me having it stay together is a little more important uh, the engine still can come out for paint it just pops out of the chassis there but let me get that together to show you what that looks like as an overall truck there we go so that's the plan for this particular uh, or not this particular this is the plan or what I've done with another uh, release of this model uh, the release that it, I also got didn't have very nice tires with it, so I had upgraded these to some different tires I had around. I think they are from... Uh, I think they're Mobius tires, actually. Okay. Now, this truck here, what would I do with this? Since I've already got this one going, the plan is... AMT released the turbine engine um, so we're going to unbox this and see what this looks like I uh, haven't opened this since uh, I got it open that up first off we have the instruction sheet that's pretty much a couple of steps uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can build it and put it on an engine stand, or you can actually install it into the GMC Astro truck. This was actually a turbine engine that uh, GM had actually built a couple of these trucks and tested with this engine. 
too bad it's molded in a sort of a green color, but that's okay. It'll all get painted. So let's see what's on these trees here. We got, um, looks like transmission and then of course the engine halves here. We have the, uh, the turbine sort of portion of it. And then of course all the detail and, and outer things like this is an air pump and belts. And this is probably the tail part of the transmission there. And there's the back side of that tree there. And then this is the uh, either some intake tubing or exhaust tubing. Uh, different cross member that actually has to go in the model kit to uh, make it work. I'm not sure if this is for the uh, chassis there or the engine stand and comes this look looks like uh, coolers or something like that that may go on the truck as well so anyway this is kind of exciting I'd like to build this up and actually put it in this truck and then uh, do the details I know they have like a cooler on one side here for cooling um, in some of the pictures I've seen so that would be kind of a neat uh, build to do but anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you and uh, give you sort of an overview of, of the kit and what's inside and some of the things that you could do with it. So if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that like button, ring that bell for notifications. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for watching. And as always, like, share, and comment, and I'll see you on the next one.